Jono has had creature colon syndrome for more than 30 years. Difficult to imagine a parent abandoning their child for any reason, but that's exactly what Jono Lancaster's parents did shortly after he was born. The reasoning was simple. Their son suffered from a disease that rendered him unattractive in their eyes. They obviously needed their eyes tested because they were the ones with the extremely obnoxious attitude. Being a regular kid in today's world is difficult enough, but having your parents abandon you can be devastating. Despite this, Jono has discovered a method to overcome his childhood emotional wounds so that he can help others with his illness live happy lives. He was born with this ailment, which caused him to have facial malformations throughout his life. That hasn't stopped him from living life to the fullest and, in the process, assisting others in accepting their differences as well. Jono's story will astound you once you learn everything he's been through. After all, Jono was born lacking some facial bones, which resulted in a significant deformity in his look. He also developed some hearing problems as a result of it. Despite this, he managed to maintain a happy attitude throughout his youth and adulthood. However, it's clear that this was not a simple task. Even worse, his parents had abandoned him 36 hours after his birth. Their only justification for such heinous behavior is that they disliked his appearance. But Jono isn't upset about the spilt milk because he considers himself fortunate in many ways, especially considering, unlike him, most people with treacher colons require up to 80 surgeries over the course of their lives just to live a semi-normal, pain-free existence. While he wasn't like other boys, he didn't deserve to be thrown into the social services system. Fortunately, the world is full of generous people, and Jean Lancaster was one of them. The woman ended up adopting Jono and providing him with the life he deserved. In home, growing up with Jean was a delight, but things weren't always so easy at school. When students saw his face, they would turn away, gaze down on the floor, or simply flee. Some classmates even told their peers that he carried an illness that would contract if they came too close to him. But Jono couldn't figure out why the kids were being so harsh to him, so he turned to his adoptive mother for help. When Jean learned that her son was being bullied at school, she began to cry, making Jono feel guilty for breaking her heart. When Jono was a teenager, he rebelled like most teenagers do at that age. But that's to be expected, especially if you're having trouble fitting in. Not only did he get despondent, but he also retaliated. Regrettably, he didn't care who he acted out against, and that included his loved ones. Treacher Colin syndrome affects one in every 10,000 children in the United Kingdom, and Jono was one of the unfortunate few. As a result of the disorder affecting the development of his facial bones and tissues, his face drooped. Now, the condition can sometimes impact respiration, but it only affects IQ in a small percentage of cases. Best part is that most persons with this illness live a long life. Jono, on the other hand, was determined to live a regular life and disregard anyone who would mock or injure him. So he applied for his first job in a pub, which he got thanks to the help of a friend. Because of his health, finding work has been difficult, but while the work appeared like a blessing at first, it wasn't without its challenges. When Jono feared others were laughing at him because of his appearance, his supervisor gave him a tough lecture in a pub. The guests in the pub were, for the most part, genuine in their kindness and, in some cases, genuine in their desire to learn more about his situation. However, he confesses that there were a couple of drunks who were abusive to him on occasion. Then, despite how some people might react, he determined that he was done feeling sorry for himself. After a skinhead jokingly informed Jono that he was glad to be deaf since he couldn't hear his wife moaning about the way he looked, Jono learned the good effect of laughter. In the end, Jono understood that it was his mindset, not his appearance, that had been the most crippling aspect of his existence. He learned that with the appropriate attitude, he could accomplish almost anything he desired, and he did. He became a tremendous inspiration to those coping with this debilitating sickness, and it's really enhanced his life. He landed a position at a gym after receiving his diploma in sports science, despite the fact that his job at the bar didn't work out. He began working as a fitness instructor at Fitness First, which provided him with a much-needed confidence boost he needed to move forward in his life. 
working at Fitness First turned out to be life-changing because it was there that he met his true love. Laura Richardson was her name, and he met the 20-year-old beauty at Fitness First. Despite the fact that she initially noticed his abnormality, she eventually looked past it and confessed that it didn't bother her any longer. The couple eventually bought a house and are now quite happy together. Jono now works as a motivational speaker to raise awareness about Treat Your Colin Syndrome. However, he was requested to come to Australia a few years ago to meet a then two-year-old Zachary Walton, who also has Treat Your Collins, and regards Jono as a hero. In reality, Jono travels extensively to various regions of the world to encourage these children. It only takes a few minutes for kids like Zachary to feel strong and happy about spending time with Jono because they see themselves in him. Coping and acceptance are critical for persons suffering from this disease as well as their families. This is why Jono frequently shares his experiences with these youngsters and their parents, so that everyone might have a glimmer of hope that everything will turn out good in the end. Jono had to wait 23 years to embrace his appearance, but now, with eight of their other foundations, he can help others do the same. His goal now is to raise awareness through organizations such as the Love Me, Love My Face Foundation so that no one has to experience bullying or feel abandoned like he did. Jono's inspirational work to teach people this illness to accept themselves and, in the process, providing assistance for these youngsters and their families was also featured on BBC3 in a special. Change must come from within and no one can force it. All they can do is encourage you. This is something Jono is passionate about, which is why he emphasizes the importance of not allowing all of the negative energy to pull you down if you have this illness. He is, however, living proof that having the correct mindset can help you achieve anything. Fortunately, Jono has encountered parents who, rather than leaving their children, are willing to assist them. This is a big cry from his adoptive parents who refused to see him despite his adoptive mother Jean's best efforts when he was five years old. He used social media to search down his biological parents as he grew older and discovered he had two other siblings. Unfortunately, his biological parents once again rejected him. In our opinion, it is their loss. Treacher Collins causes some youngsters to require years of reconstructive surgery. They also have a tracheotomy like this little girl, which means their airway is impaired and they must be watched 24 hours a day to breathe. Jono has swiftly become an inspiration to many young people growing up in the same way he did. As a result, he attempts to spend as much time with them as possible and isn't averse to taking on some more cases as they arise. Jono Lancaster's story of overcoming prejudice has been both inspiring and instructive. But he's on a mission, and there's no reason to believe the British activists will stop coming from the United Kingdom to Australia to assist children like him. In Australia, New Zealand, and even America, he's already established a support structure for children and parents so that, in his words, these youngsters don't have to grow up feeling so alone. Magnificent, right? But wait, there's still another similar story about a child who have the same condition as Jono. Mother says heartbreaks when people stare at her toddler's abnormalities. Elijah Jemkochian Bachman is speaking out about her daughter's treat your colon syndrome in the aim of spreading awareness. After observing too many people staring at her kid, the mother of a two-year-old girl with a genetic disease that caused her to have facial deformalities is speaking up. People stare, and some even make comments about her daughter's condition, the mother says, and it breaks her heart. She's opening up more about her daughter's life and the condition in which she was born in the hopes of encouraging others to be more understanding and compassionate. Elijah Jamkochian Bachman, 36, and her husband Eric, 41, were overjoyed when they learned that they were expecting their first child together 2018. They'd been trying to conceive for nine months, and on the day of the delivery, their dream of having a child was about to become a reality. When Elijah gave birth, however, she observed something odd on the faces of the people in the room. She recalls everyone looked puzzled and no one congratulating her, according to Metro. It was strangely quiet, the doctor said as he exited the room. She had no idea what was happening. Isabella, their daughter, was born with Treacher Collins Syndrome, a genetic disorder that produces facial defects as a result of delayed development. Isabella is a soft and hard cleft palate, hearing loss, and a small and recessed jaw, small airway, microtia, and a small airway. Her parents fell in love with her baby girl despite her unusual features. 
Elijah and Eric expected their daughter to be gazed at and criticized for her appearance once they learned of her illness. They were perplexed and doubted everything. What caused this to happen? Why was their newborn girl the one who received the diagnosis? Their daughter's lovely to them, and she continues to be attractive to many others. Some, on the other hand, are only capable of making derogatory remarks without considering the impact on the little girl as she grows older. Elijah and Eric have decided on a strategy for dealing with individuals who stare. Eric will educate the person looking about his daughter's health while remaining non-confrontational about it. Isabella's illness will be explained to her when she's older. They're concerned she'll be bullied later in life, and they hope that her experience will help others understand why they should not pass judgment so hastily. According to Elijah, everyone's born differently. Some are simply more obvious than others. She said that if everyone was the same, the world would be less colorful. Their young child is full of life and love, and she's eager to learn and maintain her positive excitement and energy despite her illness. Elijah is expecting their second child, so she will soon be a big sister.